best throw of my life. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, that's why I placed first right base, there. so I didn't have to throw anything. I would just do the catching. Oh, hello there. Oh no, hair doing weird things. <laughs> yeah, I've given up on it. Maybe I'll just put that in a safe place. There it is. Perfect. Hey everyone! Welcome back. This is Between the Posts once again. Uh, here's your host, Chris Turner. And I'm Jess Dombrowski. So pardon the uh, the messy hair days. It's kind of one of the things that you have to deal with as a uh, video podcast uh, <laughs> producer and host is that... You have no room to talk about hair right now. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, it, this is the one thing that you forget about, and then all of a sudden you're in front of a camera, and it's like, oh, great, I look terrible. But... <laughs> you just wake up looking flawless yeah, like some every of us. day, every day. It doesn't help that there's, like, 20-mile-an-hour winds outside and yeah. the office is crazy dry and staticky today, but right. we'll take what we can get, so... Let's just see if I can... No. Raise some hairs. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not. <laughs> anyway, folks, thank you so much for joining us once again. We have an incredibly exciting week and weekend ahead. Uh, actually, but first, before we dive into the festivities that are going to be going on this weekend, mm -hmm. uh, quick shout out to celebrating Mardi Gras, baby. Woo! Woo! <laughs> so if y'all have, like, this is why we have all the Mardi Gras colors up in front. And actually, if you haven't known, we changed the uh, microphone little phone thing every day. This is true. Not sure if you picked up on that, but obviously we have a plethora of colors. I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Mardi Gras out there. All the people in Louisiana and all the people celebrating in the southern states are all over the, the country. Please stay safe and please, uh, you know, Uber, find your way home. Just don't <laughs> just don't be too much, uh, too crazy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Be smart, be safe, but still have fun. <laughs> exactly. Be safe, but be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> be dangerous. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways, back to reality. Back to reality and back to the rugby world we go. Uh, Jess, pretty big weekend kicking off, eh? Oh, yeah. I'm very excited. So if you've been living under a rock and not following our podcast or social media or anything rugby related with our national teams, basically anything at all, uh, LA7s, it's finally, finally, finally here. Um, we'll be leaving, I'll be leaving Thursday. You'll also be leaving Thursday. Thursday yeah. yeah. So we're going to be there for a couple of days. Come find us. Just really, really excited for the LAI, the invitational of all the amateur teams. Yep. We have a large, large, large amount of youth and high school teams participating this year. So it's going to be really cool to see some of that talent out there. Mm -hmm. We've got scouts. We've got, you know, the Falcons are going to be playing in that yep. invitational. So you're going to see new Eagles, future Eagles, current Eagles all across the board on all levels. And it's going to be like 70 some degrees. I looked at the weather this morning. It's going to be like 81 on Thursday. And because it's only 25 out today, I'm pretty yep. excited about I know. that. So uh, definitely very excited that like Christmas has finally come. Very happy. So Christmas just passed, but also just came once again. It this comes is, twice a year. I don't know. It comes twice a year. <laughs> and then in the form of USA hosting the annual rugby tournament, uh, which it is. And I know that it's transferred from uh, Vegas to yeah. LA and everything, but Again, new stadium is going to be played in the Chargers and where the Galaxy play. So it's going to be 30,000 person stadium. It's going yeah. to be absolutely wild. We, the whole, the, this whole week we've been briefed on, you know, what our roles are going to be, what to expect and kind of like dealing with all the obstacles. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be a lot, but at the same time, we're going to be enjoying it because we have some of the greatest jobs alive and that's just being a part of rugby yep. and now we're going to be just watching rugby and dealing with other rugby people throughout the weekend. Yeah. But um, also thing we're going to be excited for, so we're going to try, I know it's going to be a very busy weekend for both of us, mm -hmm. we're going to have lots of things to take care of, but we're going to try to hit the streets in LA and uh, do an, <laughs> and do an impromptu podcast or maybe an outdoor podcast, yep. hopefully get some people, uh, you know, come along talking a little, bit, a little bit about rugby and just getting as many cultures and perspectives as we can for next week's podcast. So that should be an extremely exciting one for both of us, mm -hmm. and it's just a little bit newer and a little little bit different angle of the sport itself. We're going to get out of these four walls a little bit, you know, yeah. out of the box and into the real world. <laughs> Should we just bring like a giant flag with us to act like it's our I want like still? a big, I want a big thing that has like an arrow that we can walk around that's like, if you want to be on Between the Posts, come talk to these people. There it is. So, so we'll we, fit my carry-on though. <laughs> there, there it is. So we might have to make just something when we get there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, hey, watch out for us along the streets. Uh, if you're big fans or have, or have seen it before, that'd be an awesome time just to interact with us. And and, you know, get your uh, pretty faces up on the podcast and on the YouTube. So, no, watch out for us. It's going to be fantastic. But, again, we're going to throw that graphic up for you one final time. And I know it, we've been basically shoving it down each one of your faces for the past few months. But, again, here is the LA7s graphic, all the information. It's going to be going down February 29th to March 1st. 
That's the international side of things. And then the LA Invitational will be the 29th, 28th through the 29th. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we are incredibly excited. Just days away from hopping on a plane. I will say also, if you're going as a spectator, if you're going to compete, if you're just also in the area happening to be wandering around wondering what all this craziness is, <laughs> check out the website. We'll probably throw up a link for that as well. There's a really cool kind of community events section that gives a breakdown of all these different things that are going on. There's different food festivals you can go to. There's different block parties, different like social outings, if you will, out in the nightlife area. There's a rooftop pool party. There's all these different things for all the different fan bases. If you want to go out and meet new people, just get involved or just kind of have yourself a little mini vacation mixed in with some rugby. Check it out. We'll throw that link up. Hope to see you guys there. See you guys. See you in LA. Woo! That's all you. Okay. Boom. All right. Next up, we have... The INSCRO, which if you are not familiar with it, which is the National Small College Association for Rugby, is partnering up with... The MLR Free Jacks uh, for their all-star tournament mm -hmm. going down in May. Uh, this is a really cool opportun opportunity for both sides, uh, especially for Inscro, because, you know, a lot of small colleges out there really don't get the recognition and that, that they deserve. And we at USR we try to do as much as we can. But here is an awesome opportunity to have just a little bit of a partnership with the Major League Rugby team in New England. So a little bit of details for you guys. We're going to throw up as much information and graphics as we can. But eight teams will compete over three days at the New England Stadium a home venue. So it's going to be at Point Stadium in Weymouth, uh, Massachusetts from May 28th to May 30th. The championship final will be held on Saturday the 30th as a curtain raiser for the Free Jacks last regular season game uh, against Rugby Atlanta. So mm -hmm. this is going to be absolutely awesome experience for college players to then mingle with professional players, maybe bend their ears a bit, understand a little bit of what it takes to play at a higher level, mm -hmm. and also just Major League Rugby giving back to the coll collegiate atmosphere and giving back to those uh, national small colleges. Strengthening that foundation almost 100%. of that feeder team and that pathway to the to success and professional mm -hmm. rugby and everything else that you're looking for. 100%. And... Uh, it's just so cool because we, we continuously see this as we have began this podcast and, and as we research and dive into the rugby world to try to find any kind of stories like this, mm -hmm. we've actually been seeing a lot more of these um, unique partnerships Yeah. Um, with the higher levels and lower levels of, of rugby or just different walks of life in mm -hmm. general. So uh, again, uh, an incredible opportunity for those eight teams who will be uh, competing within that All-Star Weekend and again... The, the championship game is going to be a curtain raiser for an MLO game, so you're already going to get huge crowd, already right. ready to go, uh, excited to see you, and then you could easily stay, watch, and then, you know, again, mingle with the MLO players after. But we're actually, uh, I saw this when I was researching, but they have a uh, trailer oh, for really? this on, oh, on the YouTube yeah. channel. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to throw that up for you guys right now. Coming May 28th through the 30th of 2020, the New England Free Jacks and Ensco present the 2020 Regional All-Star Tournament. The best collegiate rugby players will invade New England for three days of non-stop action. For the last two years, the Pacific Coast Grizzlies have reigned supreme. Is this the year a new champion will be crowned? Who will rise up to challenge them? Will you be there? Over three days from Union Point Stadium in Weymouth, Massachusetts, the best regional all-star players will go head-to-head -to, -head to stake their claim for the 2020 and Scro All-Star Regional Championship. Will there be a new champion this year? Only time will tell. Be there. Um, so this morning when Chris and I were kind of talking about what we wanted to discuss today, bring up stuff that's happening in the community, um, lo and behold, he actually stumbled across this really cool new documentary that came out, and it's called The Pride of D.C. Um, essentially, it's about this high school rugby team that is comprised solely of African Americans, and they are just kind of learning about themselves, the community, rugby, and the power of sport and teamwork together. And well, we haven't actually gotten to watch the whole documentary yet, I don't know if it's actually officially out. It is not. It's it is not. It's actually going to be uh, premiering at in New York Film Festival. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, but what is out is the minute and a half-ish long trailer, yes. and we watched it right before we started filming, and I actually got a little bit of goosebumps because it's, it's just very raw and powerful. And 
the first minute I was a little bit confused because I was like, Chris, there's no rugby in this. And then all of a sudden this guy comes across the screen and just like lays a hit out on someone. And I was like, all right, there we go. This is great. This is rugby. This is people, community. This is what we want to see. And I don't know. It just, there was a couple really cool lines in there and it just really piqued my interest. So I'm pretty excited to see this come out and get out into the public and at New York Film Festival and just see where it goes beyond and what kind of attention that can bring to our community game. And I don't, I'm pretty excited about it, and it was just kind of something that stumbled across on on social media. So of course, <laughs> and this is so cool because uh, shout out to Hyde High School in DC, mm-hmm. who is like the main uh, the, the main part, the main point of yeah. what the story is being told around, and how uh, rugby is changing lives, how it's integrated within helping your community, helping each person not only on the team but in an individualistic standpoint within that community, mm-hmm. and helping others out. And, and it's just really cool to see how the sport is just transcending within America and across all, across all cultures and across all socio, socioeconomic uh, communities. And again, this is, uh, like Jess had mentioned, it's going to be taking place in the New York City International Film Festival, which will be going down March 25th. Mm-hmm. So if you're in New York City or you want to fly out to go see the premiere documentary, it's going to be shown at the Dolby Theater on 6th Avenue at 4.20 p.m. on March 25th. So, yeah, this is an incredible opportunity for not only the sport of rugby to get out there, but also to showcase it within America and its potential of its power. I'm going to put all the links at the bottom for you to go and, uh, you know, either follow this documentary process or follow the people that are putting it together, follow Hyde High School and Mm -hmm. themselves, and just anything that we can do to uh, continue highlighting and spotlighting this uh, great rugby club. So here we go. (laughs) <laughs> All right, for this next topic, let me start. Folks. Up, let me start. Up. <laughs> topic segment. Why can I think? And I even have coffee. Mm. <laughs> so for this next topic here, folks, uh, incredible opportunity to highlight, and we don't really do it that often, but the high school atmosphere of rugby. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Marin Highlanders out in Northern California. Shout out to Marin Highlanders. I've actually got to play them when I was in high school. Of course as well. you did. Got to play in high school. That's lucky <laughs> enough in and of itself. <laughs> right. Always got to have a little bit of bragging opportunity <laughs> yeah. for myself. But again, uh, shout out to the Highlanders who have been in Wales for the past week or so, mm-hmm. traveling around, touring the country, uh, touring s- professional stadiums, watching professional games, and actually playing local clubs themselves. Yeah. So this is, again, we just wanted to spotlight this. Uh, great things that the club is doing to just uh, step outside of that comfort zone and comfort box that we're all kind of used to playing our own American counterparts and, you know, people just down the road and everything. Yeah. But this is awesome that the club was able to uh, fundraise for it, get the, the support from the families and the schools and everyone else to uh, go over to Wales, play, uh, see a c- bunch of cool things, go on tours, and just experience rugby in another culture in and another they, country. And they pulled out a big old W they, for their last match of the tour. So they did, which was awesome. If that doesn't tell you how successful these kind of trips can be, then, I mean, going to an international, like, venue and beating a team on their home soil like that's a pretty cool experience i would say especially because of how young we are in the rugby landscape of things right i mean you're playing against people that have been playing this the way that we've been playing basketball and softball and Mm -hmm. baseball our whole lives Mm so i don't know pretty cool to them pretty cool to see what's going on and i know we've got quite a few other tours coming up so we'll keep you guys in the loop as to how successful these tours are as well and if you're interested in doing one of these yourselves um i know irish rugby tours is kind of what they went through which was a great tour planning company but uh, reach out to us. You know, that's actually what my department does is we kind of help teams put them in contact with the international unions, meet these other teams to play and have the experience of a lifetime, so to speak. So right. we'll kind of get all that information up and 100%. And checking. also the, the inverse of that, if you're an international mm-hmm. viewer, which we do have international viewers. Yes, we do. So it was really cool. I forget the name and the person who put it up, but in our, one of our last videos on YouTube, it was, uh, uh, an individual from New Zealand, and mm-hmm. they're like, hey, love what you guys are doing. So, again. We're doing something right. Doing I don't something know. <laughs> right. But, no, as the inverse, as I was saying, if you are viewing this in another country and then you want to go tour in America, this is a perfect opportunity reach to do out. so and reach out to Jess and her department. Uh, they'll definitely put you in the right step, in the right direction for you to and to get that wonderful American experience wherever you want to go, whichever region. So, Do it. Do it. <laughs> nice. No Okay, and again, just because I am selfish and I always like talking about our training and education (laughs) department because those are my home roots here at USA Rugby, uh, we talked about uh, the LA Invitational and the HSBC 7 stop, but again, reiterating, our training and education department is putting on an NDT, National Development Tour Weekend, and has 
believe it or not, another great venue of coaches coming out to have these conversations, these discussions with people and really just kind of break things down and let you know where they stand, their thought process on how coaching, why coaching and refereeing and official, basically anything and everything you want to know about rugby. These guys know the best and the most amount that you could possibly envision. Um, so right now on the docket, we've got M. Bidewell, women's high performance manager, and she is phenomenal, former player. She's been doing ridiculously awesome things yes. for the program and has really kind of built them up and solidified the foundation to which they have. So she's a great mm -hmm. person to talk to. Uh, we're going to have Warren Abrahams, 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 and he's the assistant coach for the women's national sevens team. Um, he is a big proponent of play for coaching, coaching, mm -hmm. is that right? Play for something along those lines, but coaching he's for play, play coaching for, for play. play. That's yes. what it is. Yes. And, um, if you follow him on social media, he does a lot of games with his, his, uh, players and it's just a really cool, um, innovative way to approach coaching. So he'll be there. He'll be able to talk about all of that. And I know for a fact, these guys want to meet you guys and it's going to be a great event. So we'll put up all the information on how to reach out, how to register, where to go, when to go, put it on your calendars. <laughs> Don't miss out. It's going to be a great time. So Definitely. pretty excited about it. And uh, we also, I don't know if you missed the the other speaker that we have. I'm sure she might have missed it because maybe she couldn't pronounce the last name. I like to maybe <laughs> hand that off to Chris. That's not my area of expertise. <laughs> so uh, so for the third speaker of the uh, LANDT, we have Morgan Tiranui, uh, the head coach of Randwick Rugby of class and the Classic Wallabies. Mm -hmm. So another international kind of voice and perspective on the game from Australia, so I'm sure Jamie McGregor mm -hmm. might have pulled a few strings for <laughs> to get that guy in here. But no, awesome, awesome panel, awesome cast. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're gonna be in LA, of course, go see all the rugby that you can. But mm -hmm. also, if you want to learn and put more tools in your tool belt, come check out the NDT series in LA. All the guest speakers, all the courses, and all the classes that you'll be able to kind of attend yourself. Mm -hmm. And speaking of courses and classes, uh, this is a great segue. <laughs> That uh, the following training and education courses education, and classes. Education, education, education. <laughs> I need to be cut off. I don't off know sometimes. how I'm going to edit that one, but it's going to look <laughs> real nice. Uh, so, just uh, we're going to put it on the scroll. So, just to give a quick shout out to, of course, in Torrance, California, which is the LA NDT is mm -hmm. going to be taking place. We also have on February 29th, which is a Saturday, Lincroft, New Jersey at Christian Brothers Academy will be hosting USA Rugby Level 200 and World Rugby Level 1. Uh, Glendale, Colorado. Shout out. Whoop, whoop. Level 1 officiating. February 29th, Saturday. Westport, Connecticut. Level 1 officiating. Uh, Aurora, Colorado. Shout out another Colorado. <laughs> uh, USA Rugby Level 200 and World Rugby Level 1. Rad, oh boy, Radford, Virginia. I thought there was an N in there. Radford, Virginia. <laughs> USA Rugby 200, World Rugby 1, Princeton, New Jersey, Level 1 Officiating, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Level 1 Officiating, and that's it. Boom! Wait, I, I would drop the mic, but we can't actually drop the mic because it's actually being used right now. <laughs> yeah. oh, and I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so those are the courses. Of course, we're going to put the scroll on you and all the links to go to check out any future courses that will be taking place on all these weekend, but in March as well. Mm -hmm. I know I had sent out a bunch of emails to all these states and surrounding uh, members in those areas. So uh, if you haven't, please go check it out. It's going to be a good time. Nice. You know. Okay, Chris is clearly too overexcited to actually do the proper introduction for our next segment, which is my favorite brainchild, and I, I say it every week like a broken record. I think I've had too much coffee. Too much time. coffee, probably. Because last last week I didn't have enough, so I literally had. He's too overcompensated, much today. folks. I need, he needs to be cut off, and then we'll just keep some distance here. Uh, again, favorite spot of the week. We've got rugby dog of the week, so we're gonna throw that up for you. We have I love this Juno, Juno. with the Dallas Rugby Football Club, and this just looks like some sort of a baller type dog like he's ready to go out and play and like right. he's just like looking all spiffy like hey take my photo why don't you that dog has better hair than we have I, like, you know what especially on these nice <laughs> bad hair days that we're having no need to salt in the wound and, I, and <laughs> I love how on their rugby or on their uh, Facebook page they they called it the pupper of the pitch the pupper of the pitch honestly let's get that hashtag going <laughs> hashtag pupper of the pitch uh, rugby dog of the week mm -hmm. you know uh, hashtag shoot your shot 2020 we, oh big we, fan of that big fan of that big fan but no uh, Juno uh, he's absolutely adorable. Look at the flowing locks.
Hawks, just the just, oh, just the excitement <laughs> for the game and you know just what's going to go down in Dallas. But he knows, man. He, he knows. He's got an idea of what's about to happen. Dogs it's a rugby know day. weird I, things. Everything. Dogs know weird things. They're <laughs> like, oh, some good things about to happen. I'm about to be really happy. And something bad. Let me just hide under the table real fast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that was your hashtag dog of the week. Hashtag pupper of the pitch. Mm. <laughs> That actually is a really Hashtag good one. send it 2020. Hashtag send it 2020. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, again, shout out to Dallas Rugby Football Club for putting that up there uh, for us to find. And again, um, Jess, I know this kind of concludes our show this week. but Oh, so I get to take your segment here. You want to? All right. And as always, folks, if you're interested in joining rugby on any sort of level, whether that's coaching, refing, administration, or finding a team to play for, or going to watch a team, go to usa.rugby and find your local club. We are here to help. Chris and I literally love nothing more, maybe more than most people. We love talking to people. Obviously we're talking (laughs) to a camera right now so that we can talk to all of you guys. And we just kind of want to hear from you. So reach out to us if you do have any questions, if you know of something cool upcoming, if there's something you want to highlight your club. We've gotten a few interview requests. We're working on scheduling those, getting those on the docket for you moving forward. Really excited about LA to actually kind of get out of, again, these four walls and (laughs) see all of you guys be out in the rugby atmosphere, if you will. So this is uh, Jess Dombrowski and Chris Turner, and we are signing out. (laughs) (laughs) Almost broke my leg doing that. (laughs) Oh, the hair. It's so sad if you say. Oh, this video would end on.